Hello everyone and welcome back to Zoo Crafting! And we are here in our very noisy, very amazing peafowl gardens where we have our two handsome peafowl males jumping around admiring their flock of lovely females and the many, 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 many peafowl baby that, that we have. I'm so excited. We have three babies right there. And I think there's another baby over on that side with those females. Yeah, right there. <gasps> so many babies, so many peafowl. It is just so wonderful how we made the exhibit. We started it for them and everything is just taking off with more and more birds. But my goodness, they're a little bit noisy sometimes. And just to quell your guys' fears, a lot of people were like, Ada's gone, Ada's gone. And Ada's right here, you guys. Look at her. That's Well, that's Jem. Ada was right here. Ada, did you scooch over? Ada, see, you're panicking everyone. So Ada's right here, she's fine. No need to panic. Here's Shimmer and Jewel. Jim's already grown up into an adult. Look at that, oh, that's so exciting. We have these two males. We have this unnamed baby. We have an empty egg. We have a hungry belly. Oh, pralines. Let's have apples and pralines for breakfast. Why not? That sounds, that sounds healthy, doesn't it? Caramel pecans and a little bit of fruit to go with it. Nom nom nom, there we go. Unfortunately, I never did get that cherry tree to grow right there. But maybe I'll be able to transfer some cherry like cuttings over there later. But all right, so let us get out of this noisy little spot for just a second so I can think. Because, man, they're, they're a little loud sometimes. But hello, everyone, and welcome back to the zoo. We are almost done with this exhibit, which makes me really excited. Because then we're going to start working on the, the uh, chameleon exhibit. And I think we're going to go this way. So let's take a peek at where we're going to start working. Come on, little peafowl. There you go. Go, go find some yummy bugs to eat. Don't eat the petals off of my flowers, you guys. I know you like to eat petals off of flowers. All right, let's wiggle this way. But yeah, I'm thinking chameleon exhibit. It could potentially be kind of like, kind of like unfortunate. Oh my gosh, look at this. This is tree and mushroom symbiosis taken to the max. I'm pretty sure that's what I said last time we found this spot. But unfortunately, I think we might have to clear this tree and its amazing mushroom out of the way because I would love to put the chameleon kind of right here. Like maybe dome off the top of this area with glass and then we can dig into the wall so that we can have like a cave exhibit. Um, maybe leading into... I don't know what kind of cave exhibit, but you know, it's a potential cave exhibit area that we could use. And I just feel like doming off this zone and then trying to put down a bunch of different leaf blocks and put down a bunch of different colors for the chameleon to go on would be really fun because chameleons can change their color. Let's see. At least here. Now remember, we've had this conversation before when we talked about desert chameleons. Yeah, hi guys! Hello everyone! I should put signs up that say, please make sure you close the doors. Hello everyone! There's some eggs. I don't even know if I really need to hatch these. Look at the baby. Yep, no baby. Hey Moonstone! So all the babies are starting to grow up now, which is fantastic. Also, thank you guys! So this is a spot people were saying the peafowl could get out. And it sure enough looks like it is. So I'm gonna go ahead and move the string that we have right here. Come here, string. Lily is growling at something. I'm gonna move the string right here. Whoops, string, no! And I'm actually going to move that, um, <laughs> that leaf block right there so now they can't jump out this way. Good eyes, you guys. I really did not see this, so I would have missed it. And we would have lost our peafowl. All right, and the string to keep the vines from growing. Ta-da! Much better. Wonderful, wonderful eyes, you guys. Wonderful eyes. And then also, someone pointed out they could get out over the crafting table, perhaps. Oh, a peafowl egg. That's awesome. But I think the crafting table is a secure spot because I can't jump out over here. You know, you get over here, you can't really get a way out. So I wonder if our peafowl male is like, hiding up in a tree somewhere. I might have to get on sunflower. They do like to roost in trees, peafowl. So I might have to get on sunflower and see if he's just hiding up high. All right, there we go. And let me put the little eggshells away for now, like so. But all right, guys, what we're going to do today is try to finish up some of the exhibit. And to do that, we're going to get the little, um, little cafe built over here. We already have the magnolia leaves that would make such an awesome cafe roof. And now we're going to go and get the bamboo. Lily, oh my gosh. 
I feel like I need to go on some sort of hunt because she's just growling so much. Oh yeah, and I needed to clean up all of these. So one second, we're gonna clean up a whole bunch of leafy gardens because they're kind of taking over over here. All right, come on leafy gardens. Am I picking all of you up? Yep. Hey, Lily girl. Did you pick some of that up? I, I They're gonna have a bath today too. Today is a Tuesday, one of the two Tuesdays during the month where we will bathe all of our dogs and empty out what's hiding in their inventories. There we go. I'll leave a couple of the leafy gardens, gather up some of my Highlands cotton, and I wish I could reach those mushrooms. Can I reach those mushrooms? Because they're getting a little overgrown too. All right, hang on puppies. Mom's being a little bit of a mountain goat. There we go. Gathering up the overgrown mushrooms. Lily is growling up a storm. <gasps> Tropical gardens! Oh my gosh, tropical gardens, you guys! And more mushrooms! Oh my goodness. That's fantastic news. We may be able to get our grapes. Oh, Lily, look at you be so cute. Oh, Pine, look at you guys. They're all being so cute. Climbing over here. All right, let me get a little torch out so we can see what we're doing down here. Oh, are these papaya? No way! That gives us zookeeper experience points. Oh my gosh, and there's an herb garden over here. Oh, this is so fun. I love living in such a, an abundant land. All right, actually, let's see. Uh, almost out of space. So let's make a little room, putting the food away. Oh, and actually, I guess the green leafy gardens contain a lot of foods that the peafowl eat too. Well, that's just nifty difty. All right, fell down here. And let's see. Pine, it's a little dark, isn't it? I really want to take a picture of these. I know that sounds weird, but I want to take a picture of these tropical gardens before we, we like peck them apart. All right, well, that's just gonna have to do. All right, grapes, <gasps> grapes, you guys, it's grapes, yay, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Grapes and watermelon, oh, this is what I needed. And I'm gonna pick this one up and we will move it to, oh, wouldn't it be kind of fun to do a little tropical garden spot? Um, in fact, I'm gonna move this leafy garden too. I'm gonna let the leafy garden grow wild right here. Picked up a cabbage and an artichoke. All right, let's go up here. And our noisy pea fowl. Oh, Pine. <laughs> Pine, do you want to snuggle in bed with me today? Is that what you're telling me? Are you telling me, Mom, I want to snuggle with you? Well, that's okay, Pine. You can come snuggle. Come here. Yeah, there's a good boy. There's a good boy. All right, and Keeper Ethan, I think I have some stuff for you. Uh, he wants lettuce, spinach, and broccoli. And... Did you know that wild people are not picky at all about what they eat? They- oops. <laughs> they dig in the leaf litter and swallow nearly anything that fits in their beak. Wonderful, like most birds then. You gotta be careful about that. Alright, well I'm gonna give them a couple of broccoli. I'm keeping- well, I've got plenty of lettuce up at home, so I'll give them a lettuce. And here's the papaya. I'm pretty sure papaya is one of the fruit they eat. Sure enough it is! Yes! Easy peasy zookeeper experience points. Always important to collect those up. Make sure I have plenty of, of ways to pay for my myself that way. Oh, look, and here's more apples for our praline and apple surprise that we're eating together. But it actually would be really cool to have a little tropical garden area near the peafowl somewhere. In the peafowl exhibit? Uh, it would make more of a living exhibit. Yeah, why not? Okay, we'll try it out. We'll let it spread kind of over here. So kind of between this Panama Queen and this Panama Queen, we will allow it to spread, Tate. <laughs> we will allow the tropical garden to spread and we'll see what happens. All right, now enough of this. We need to go get some, some thatching and that is from the bamboo that we have down next to Sunflower's tree, I think. I saw it over there. It's um like the yellow short tassel bamboo. Also, all these torches. I can't tell if the random placement is me or if it's um, Ben's little maid anymore. <laughs> uh, I need to get my own little maid. I want two now. I want one to act as a little Bo Peep so she can shear my sheep and gather up a bunch of wool that I can trade to the villagers. And I want another that can be my little companion, the way Ben has a companion who can leave torches around. Because that is extremely useful for me. Because I never remember to put torches down. Because I'm just like rushing back and forth all over the place. All right, so bamboo. One of these bamboos is going to make the thatching that we're after. Um, 
So let me see. Bamboo, bamboo, there we go. There's a whole bunch of different kinds of bamboo, and you can turn it into different bamboo blocks. You've got this beautiful bamboo thatching, but that's not quite the one we're going after. We are going for this one right here. Short tasseled bamboo because it is going to turn into the thatching from Tropicraft. We, I replaced the texture. It looks awesome. I really want it. Short tassel is going to be this color, so the brown one. Not the yellow one, not the green ones, not the, not the tropical blue, but the brown bamboo. So let me see. Those look kind of green. And that's fine. And that, I think, yep. Yeah, I had a feeling we had some nearby. There's bamboo everywhere, and it grows really quickly, and it makes for wonderful, absolutely fantastical fertilizer in the compost bin from Garden Stuff. Oh, I can't wait to harvest up my... Oh, no, pine, pine. Oh, dear. Pine, come. Dang it, pine. Why? Run, 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 run. All right, pine, sit. Oh, everybody caught a fish that time. That was awesome. I heard, I heard everyone catch a fish. We're really going to have fun. Today is one of the two Tuesdays. We do Doggy Bath Day side quests now uh, on every other Tuesday during the month. And today is one of the Tuesdays where we will be doing Doggy Bath Day. Look, it's another swimming bun! Hunting for those carrot fish. But yeah, today is one of the two Tuesdays that we bathe the dogs so we see what they're hiding in their inventory from all the days of like hanging out together and moving around, moving and grooving. I need this clover for decorating in the peafowl exhibit. Same with this thing. Alright. Whoops, did I just put it right back down? I sure did. I meant to put down a sugar cane. Alright, excuse me, Tate. Excuse me. Okay. And, okay. There we go. Was that a little fish? I wouldn't be surprised. I love seeing how many fish I end up having in my little wild rice patty. Alright, Pine, you're free again. Silly puppy. I, he makes me worry about him so often. Running off doing silly things, like trying to drown himself. Maybe, maybe today, because it's puppy bath day, if we have time, I need to take some of the zookeeper experience that we've gathered and turn it in for dog food. And so if we have time, I'll see if I can pick up a few extra treats and we'll see if we can train up uh, our little pup pup pine. Because he really wants to be a fisher dog like his dad. Out of all the dogs, he seems to be the one who spends the most time just climbing into the water. Alright, so let's see. Oh, hey, there it is! <laughs> That wasn't too bad. All right, short tassel bamboo. So we need to pick it up. Come to me. Oh, geez, it grows so fast too. I love that about bamboo. As fast as you break it, the blocks just start growing again. All right, watch out, guys. Don't get too stuck in that bamboo, Tate. See, look at it go. Choom, choom, choom. I might need to plant it elsewhere. All right, watch out, guys. I don't know what happens if you stand on bamboo as it grows. And then we can take it and you can turn it into building blocks or you can craft it into a hanging plant. Short tassel bamboo. So you can make it into a cute little bowl. I wonder if those, those bowls of bamboo would look nice. I wonder if hanging plants would look nice in the peafowl exhibit too. Or maybe hanging plants would look really nice on the ends of the... Um, on the ends of the little cafe places we're going to be building next. Oh, and there's bamboo steamed rice. That would be perfect to sell at the cafe. Oh, that's so exciting. And then you can also turn it into short tassel bamboo pole. And from that pole, you can make the uh, short tassel bamboo block, or you can make a fence or a ladder or a gate or a wall bracket, which is exactly what we need. So mm, short tassel bamboo slab. Okay, okay. Alrighty. Oh my gosh, look, it's already grown. Man, this stuff is awesome. Dun 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 Indiana Jones theme in my head lately. I am I I love that idea, being an explorer like Indiana Jones. That's how I feel, except instead of um instead of going and exploring there we go, a whole stack of it. I shouldn't have done that because it would it would be smart to take oh good, it's already grown again. It would be smart to take a couple and plant them. There we go over by where the birds are. All right, let's go back down. Oh my goodness, already lost in my own little personal jungle. Pine, pine, are you okay, pine? Are you being one with the tree, pine? Okay, hang in there, buddy. There we go. Cleared one away, cleared another away. Like I said, I always feel a little bit guilty about clearing out this many trees and bushes, 
but it's a literal jungle here. It's gonna have to happen for the sake of progress and for the sake of building a zoo. All right, there we go. So we've got all of that now. Do I have, I guess we can make our own carpenter's blocks. It's not that big a deal. It's almost, it's like not worth running back upstairs to get the carpenter's blocks. We have the bamboo for thatching. I might need the iron because now I think having some uh, hanging plants would actually be pretty fun. Why am I going the long way again? I really need to make paths. I make these beautiful fancy bridges. <laughs> I'm like one of those architects. You're just like out in the middle of the wilderness and you find like a beautiful gorgeous fancy bridge over a tiny creek and there's no path on the other side. That's the kind of architect I am. And then, I, and then there's probably going to be like a flower garden next to it. Just cause. Just cause why not. Alright, and now look at this. Why you guys? I made the bridge so you could cross the water safely. And instead they just, they just jump into the deep end. No, keep moving. Okay good, Pine's out of the water. Oh, and Lily and Tate and Pine are hungry. Alright. And don't worry guys, you're not going to be stuck eating zombie jerky much longer. Because today is puppy day, today is puppy bath day, and that means hopefully we'll be able to get you guys cleaned up and I'll be able to buy you some food from the new gourmet dog food shop. See, if there's cows up in the trees, then I wonder if we really do have a peafowl hiding high up in the branches. Like that's where our, our third peacock disappeared to. Alright, so I fed the dogs, time to feed myself. Healthy apple, nom nom nom. And delicious snack of pralines. Um, nom, 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 nom. There we go. All right. So I'm gonna put these away. Do I have any wooden here? I sure do. Aha! Look. Already carpenter's wedge slopes, carpenter's barriers. The wedge slopes are actually what I need, and the recipe for that just needs some sticks to go over them, over the um the normal ones. So that won't be too hard. All right. And let's go ahead and clear up my pack a little bit. Leaf pile, grapes, watermelon, pineapple, potato seeds, which I could analyze and work with in the future. Um, and I guess I could sh like plant some short tassel bamboo around here somewhere. Maybe make a little cluster of it right here. Why not? Well, it would hit the the mushroom. Um, oh, snake. Okay, I'm gonna plant a little cluster of it right there, and then we'll just remember I kind of artificially moved some if we need more thatching in the future. All right, and up we go, you guys. So sh like bamboo steamed rice, and you guys are coming up with some really fun names still for like different smoothies and drinks that we could have here in the P-File exhibit. <gasps> oh, look, it's a male! Jewel, you grew up, you grew up, you grew up to be a boy, Jewel, yay! P-File eggs, yay! Oh no! Oh, there's a baby. Okay, I thought I thought it was outside. It's good. It's good. All right, so let's work our way over here to our little crafting bench. And now we take the short tassel bamboo poles, line them up, and they make thatching. Boom! Oh my goodness! They did not make much thatching. <laughs> okay, we're gonna need a lot more bamboo than I thought. <laughs> I really severely underestimated the bamboo consumption in this project. I will admit that. All right, hum out, guys. I love you. You're just so noisy. Oh, the, the fern died. I was going to move it, and it just died. All right, so let's see. One thatching. Two thatching. Back up. Yeah, that should be good. Whoops. All right, I'm going to have to put the thatching together like this because I don't want them to escape. I know, guys. Is that going to be good? And then, like, the person kind of stands in the center here, and there'll be a little bar behind them. It would be better if I could make it three wide in the center, I think. So it would be five wide overall. I think that would look better. All right, come here, little thatching. I'm going to need a lot more of this bamboo than I thought. No, back off, little guys. I know, you're so noisy. You're so noisy. All right. And, yeah, I guess it's going to come out. So yeah, that'll be nicer because this is supposed to be kind of a fancy but built out of like really not fancy materials place. Let me see. And the back wall will have to be thatching. So then these two spots will be the spots where like they'll come out and then the counter will be right here. So you can just kind of step over and order from behind like the other side of the counter. 
All right, that'll be how it is. All right, hang on, Tate. I'm gonna have to like line up where the... Okay, so the last thatching will be right there and right here. And then counter is kind of like right here sticking out. Yeah, because we want the lip of the uh, roof to kind of stick out a little bit too. Also, oh my goodness, so many peafowl eggs. Maybe I should make them worth zookeeper experience points, but I don't know, they're fun to hatch. Oh, there they are! I'm collecting them now! Oh, there we go! You're one of the unnamed males, I think, or one of the unnamed babies, at least. Lily, easy there, girl. She always makes me so nervous when she's growling at night, but I really love how we're safe inside of our little hedge garden here. Alright, so it looks like I severely underestimated how many pieces of thatching we're going to need for this project. But the good news is... Let's see, let's see. I got my way. The good news is, um, we at least have the bamboo and we didn't have to go on a big giant expedition to find it. Wow! Yeah, they're so noisy. They're so adorably noisy. And then the other good news is we can at least try to finish the roof up a little bit. So next up, you guys, it's coming up with really fun names and ideas of what to call the, the foods. And I'm going to be really happy because then it'll be like we almost finished something. And then it'll be on to the chameleon area. All right, let's do a few of these. There we go. Wonderful. Lots and lots of the little carpenter slopes. We'll grab the mahogany leaves because they're also something we need. And I guess I could use them carefully for scaffolding if I use my steel, my steel leaves. Do I? Okay, my sword's there. All right, hang on, guys. I know! Noisy little ones. Oh, wait, I needed to make it bigger because this wall is kind of right here. Oh, that's right, that's right. I remember now. Okay. What am I going to do about this? Hmm. 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 Put thatching on the back or just like hang things up on the leaves. It wouldn't look very professional if I just hung things up on the leaves. But I almost wonder if there needs to be another color to complement the thatching. I know, right birds? I am probably overthinking this tremendously. In fact, I wonder if I need to make it three high. What if two high and then leaves works? I think two high and then leaves works. Yay! Saving on the thatching! This is how zoos start making those economical decisions to, to change designs. This is how everyone does, I would, I would guess. Where you're like, I think we could get away with making it smaller, and then we save on our funds. Alright. I don't know how relaxing getting a drink in the peafowl garden is going to be when they're this noisy. But they're, they're, they're nice noisy. This is why you're here, to appreciate the, the beauties of nature and all of their loudness. Let's see, and I better put a torch in here while we work so that nothing tries to spawn. Are you okay, puppies? Jeez, they all went quiet for a second. I was like, what's about to eat me? All right. So then we have this. Let's come down here, put this here, and back up a little bit more. No, that's the wrong way. No, that's on a, whoops, ah, dang it. Destroyed a fern. I guess this is like construction damage. All right, put that there, put that there. Put that, whoop, and come on, come on. There we go. There we go, look at this. Not too bad, not too bad. There, okay, and then I've got four more pieces so I can at least fill in the sides. Whoops. All right. Oops, watch out, Tate. All right. Man, Lily is not happy. She's growling up a storm. There we go. Yeah. It's a little bit smaller than I thought. And actually, I think I want to extend out the, like, little roofing pit. One more. So, pop this off. Dwee, dwee, dwee. All my birds making so much noise. There we go. So, then you do this. There we go, and the wedge. Wink. It feels like building Berry Bakery again. It feels awesome, and we loved Berry Bakery so much, didn't we, guys? There's that, and this, and this. 
All right, almost done. And one more. No! Oh no, and I didn't use the right thing to destroy it. Oh no, okay, oh, the block is in the way. Ah, uh, unforeseen difficulty. The beauty of the p fell never stops amazing me. Good for you, Ethan. Dang it. The little pathing thing is in the way. It does need to be like one taller if we want to be able to walk down here. The hedge fence is quite secure. Occasionally a cow will fall from the leaves above, but so far no zombies. Phew. Good for you, Ethan. Oh. Oh no. It does need to be just like a little bit taller. Because then the, the thing is this little, this little like statues in the way I can remove it I guess I guess that makes sense though because I guess you wouldn't need the pathing right next to the spot where you're trying to eat food so this is kind of like this is the permissible area to leave the path and come get food so that actually works okay that's that's fine that's fine all right so here we go guys it's not quite done we still need to like lay down um, a counter we need to put a back on the back of it we need to possibly hang some pretty pretty plants from it somehow which we can't do unless it is one taller her but the good news is we tried with the prototype we tried with the prototype and i think we need to put some like thatch or bamboo Ooh, that actually would be nice some bamboo poles to look like it's holding it up and be on the edge of the counters and yeah i think actually we will make it one taller yeah, we'll work on that. We'll work on that. So we made progress. Progress was made and we have Victory Grape 2.0. So we can get back to planting uh, some of the grapes. So quite a few good things. Quite a few good things indeed. And there's a scaly tree fern. And any more philodendron propagating for me? Do do do. Yes. I think one propagated. And I know that I accidentally picked up a cone head. Take a little cone head. There you go. And a philodendron right there. Ha! See, slowly but surely we are continuing to propagate the plants and spread them around. So we'll get there. We'll get there. All right. Yeah, it looks a little bit too small to be like a grand fancy thing. So we'll knock down the roof again. We'll go over and collect more bamboo and we will make the thatching a little bit taller. But we're almost there. Almost there, guys. And oh my goodness. My beautiful noisy babies. And a dancing egg. Oh my gosh. That's beautiful. Beautiful. What? What? How? Why? Oh my gosh. You're a demon wolf. Whew. This isn't my dog. This is a possessed demon dog that just showed up out of nowhere. Okay, that's alarming. Is this place haunted? Did I build on haunted burial grounds? We have a dancing egg. Is this, is this really like a possessed egg? Is that what I'm being told? Warnings of the possessed peafowl egg. Is this like a peafowl prophet egg? Is there gonna be like a little peafowl hatching from this that's going to like tell me forebodings of the future? Is that the case? Oh my goodness. Now I feel like if a peafowl hatches from here, I'm gonna have to pick it up and give it a special oh dear. And give it a special name. This is this is the prophet peafowl, the prophetess the priestess peafowl right here. Who's going to be able to tell us whether or not, I guess it could be a priest or a priestess, depending, who can tell me about all sorts of, of evil things. Well, that escalated quickly. <laughs> okay, well, um, I'm going to get a name tag for our new little one, because that was definitely a demon dog that showed up. So it's kind of fun to say, like, the floating egg, the floating egg was the chosen peafowl. It can tell you about, like, all sorts of dark evils in this world, so you can fight them, Siri. Fight them as the hero of light that you are. So, yeah, like I said, that escalated quickly. Well, I'm going to go get a name tag for this little one, and then... Let me think. Yeah, then we're going to try to casually act casual and just gather up the thatching so that we can build our little cafe. Um, but that was interesting. Huh. That was unexpected. Very unexpected indeed. But that's what makes the best stories. All right, you guys. Oh my goodness. And I'm kind of tempted to start letting a few of the peafowl roam free. Maybe in the future. I think we might let a few of them roam free kind of in the area. Um... So we'll see what happens, because we have a lot of them now. And I need to get that cow out of here. <laughs> Alright, you guys, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!